transform dot, you'll be able to grab position, rotation, and scale by using transform. Put that back to zero. Okay. And then, what else are we going to need? So let's do an awake function. Void awake. Uh, what is this? Okay, so you want to do this dot transform dot position equals a new vector three up in parentheses and you're going to want to type in my position which is a transform your x y and z your rotation and your scaling dot uh, position dot x and you want to do this that's weird why did it do that I don't know why I did that that's weird what okay let's just redo that let's do this dot transform dot position for grabbing the position out of the transform equals new vector 3 vector 3 means x y and z or position on the axis of a graph or something like that and then we want to do my position you know what my position is not a very good name for the variable let's call it start position maybe that will make more sense the start position on the level Okay, and we'll add uh, for the character. All right, so the await function, which gets called before everything else, this transform dot position of the character will equal the new vector three or position x y z of our start position. So do start position dot uh, position we don't have to do transform because this is a transform like this right here transform dot position we have to do transform dot position because we're using the game object since we're using a transform for this we don't have to type transform we just have to do position because we're wanting the position dot x and then start position dot position dot y and you guessed it we want z too hopefully this is correct so make the player object starting position at the empty game object uh, what did we call it spawn position and this will be called uh, So that should pretty much explain that and let me uh, do this for vector 2 
This, it took me a while to get the hang of vector. Vector 3 means the position of the x axis, y axis, and z axis. If you're doing a 2D game, you would use vector 2 instead of vector 3 because you don't need the z axis. It's 2D. The z axis is uh, moving forward and backwards. The x axis is moving left and right. And the y axis is moving up and down. Kind of like on a graph paper or when you're making a graph in math class. Okay. So when the game starts, the player should be moved automatically to where uh, this is. And we're going to drag our spawn game object onto this. So save it. Hopefully there's no errors. Doesn't look like it, so that's good. Drag your um, death script onto your player. Now you'll see right here, uh, I did the wrong one. Alright, drag your, see where it says start position right here? You need to drag your empty game object that you made called spawn, your spawn point. Alright, and Here's the player. It should move automatically when the game starts, and it should be wherever you put your spawn object in the game world. Okay, see what happened? So we need to drag over our spawn object. You do that by clicking a uh, scene, and then clicking the uh, up, down, left, right, error icon. And let's go back to game mode and push play. Okay, cool. So you let's we can drag it over a little bit more. Okay, cool. So when you start, you're going to start there automatically every time at the spawn position. Now we just need to make it go back to there when you die, which is pretty easy by using on trigger. So let's do that. Go back to your death script and make some room underneath update. And let's do on trigger enter. Type in collider and then other. And we forgot to put void before on trigger. This allows a collision between objects with tags and has at least one rigid body. So this is going to make stuff happen when we touch stuff. But you have to have at least one rigid body either on the player or the object you're messing with with the tag tick box ticked. Alright, so do an if statement. If this game object collides with the other game object, If the other game object is, we've got to do tag actually. If the other game object tag is, it also means equals death, then let's do something. We'll do uh, this dot transform again dot position. Or you, we have to use transform 
because this is not a transform, this is the game object player equals new vector three start position dot position dot x start position dot position dot y start position dot position I cannot type you I cannot type that's terrible dot z and it's just the same code from up there on the await function so I'm going to do a code comment check awake function for the description and let's uh, save it all right make sure your uh, your lava or death trap or whatever has a tag of death and is trigger is ticked and it's a rigid body and that should be it it should work push play and go jump into the lava and die there you go guys you are now ready to have uh, spawn points in your game and uh, you see how it's rolling you don't want it to do that you go to your player and go to constraints on a rigid body and you mess with it let's see you don't want to do let's see, we're not using really the z-axis you can go ahead and click those two freeze position and freeze rotation on the z-axis that might stop the rolling there you go. There you go, guys. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, suggest videos, share them, and or contact me, and we'll talk. Thanks, guys.